On today's show, Ford thinks that pizza delivery could be perfect for autonomous cars. Aston Martin says it's going to electrify its entire lineup, while Audi and Mercedes cancel models to help pay for electrification. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the automotive industry. Last week, Ford announced it's forming a partnership with a company called Zoye Auto to produce and sell electric vehicles in China. And now Renault Nissan is forming a partnership with Dongfeng Motor to do the same. The companies have created a new joint venture called EGT New Energy Automotive. They will jointly develop an EV that will be built on an A-segment SUV platform from Renault Nissan. The companies are targeting 2019 to begin production of the new EV. And this could be why we're seeing Ford and Renault Nissan forming partnerships to build EVs in China. German newspaper FAZ is reporting that China will announce final plans for EV and plug-in hybrid quotas in the coming days. Earlier in the year, China said those vehicles should make up one-fifth of all sales by 2025. The original proposal called for harsh penalties if automakers did not comply, but those are expected to be softened in the final version. A staggered system of quotas will begin next year, and credits will be issued to help some automakers meet the targets. Still to come, BMW gives a bit more pizzazz and oomph to the i3 electric. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. Volvo made headlines around the world when it announced it's going to electrify its entire lineup. And now Aston Martin is making the same claim. Andy Palmer, the CEO of Aston, says 100% of their cars will be hybrids by the mid-2020s. However, the hybrid powertrains will be an option. Customers could still select V8s and V12s. Aston will introduce its first pure electric, the Rapid E, in 2019. And Palmer says about one out of four Astons will be purely electric around 2030. Its first crossover, the DBX, which debuts in 2019, will offer a hybrid option later in its life. Interestingly, though it will import its battery cells, Aston plans to make its own battery packs and motors. That is quite ambitious for such a low volume manufacturer. The BMW i3 has been out for about three years now, so in automotive design cycle terms, the EV is due for an update. The 2018 model will come with a mild design refresh and a new sportier model called the i3S. In the design department, the track has been widened, there's new wheel arch moldings, horizontal accent lines, and reworked fascias. The standard i3 uses the same electric motor and battery pack as the outgoing model. But let's get to the S model, which features an electric motor with more horsepower and torque than the standard model, and a whole bunch of model-specific design elements. The improved power is good enough to improve its 0 to 60 time by 4 tenths of a second. The suspension of the i3S is sport-tuned, which lowers it by nearly half an inch, and it comes with unique and wider 20-inch wheels. The new i3 will debut at the Frankfurt Motor Show in September, but I question whether it's enough to help sales of the EV. They are down 17.5% so far this year in the U.S. market. Coming up next, Ford teams up with Domino's to deliver pizzas with autonomous cars. Lighter, safer, stronger, quieter, and more sustainable. Tell us where you need to go, and we'll help you get there. Dow Automotive Systems. We don't succeed unless you do. Whether it's on television, online, or through social media, AutoLine knows how to effectively get your marketing message to the people you want to reach. Contact Stacy Eman today. We have a lot of EV coverage in today's show, and the race to electrification is starting to have an impact on other parts of the business. We're starting to see some low-volume car programs get canceled. And here's our AutoLine Insight. 
we think this is to pay for EV programs. For example, Auto Forecast Solutions reports that Mercedes-Benz just canceled the next generation S-Class convertible. Audi is canceling the next gen A5 Sportback and Cabrio, and the A8 will be replaced by the EA8. Sportbacks and convertibles require significant tooling costs, and by getting rid of those models, Mercedes and Audi are freeing up capital to invest in electric cars. Ford is teaming up with Domino's to explore delivering pizza to customers using autonomous cars. The experimental program will start in Ann Arbor, Michigan, which is home to Domino's headquarters. The pizzas will be delivered using a Ford Fusion. Customers will get a text when the car arrives at their residence, and they'll unlock an oven in the car using the last four digits of their phone number. Over the next few weeks, customers who order a pizza will be asked if they'd like to have it delivered autonomously. Even so, just to be on the safe side, there will be a Ford engineer in the car, but the windows of the car will be blacked out so that customers cannot see the driver. Both Ford and Domino's hope to learn about how people react and interact with autonomous vehicles delivering goods to their homes. And that brings us to the end of today's report. Thanks for watching, and we hope you tune in again tomorrow.